Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to make a real wood burning tool with your own hands using simple and affordable materials. We'll start with the handle. I'm using a wooden block that feels comfortable in the hand. On the end of the handle, I drive in two steel nails. I'm using steel because it has low thermal conductivity and cut off the heads. These will be our support contacts. Next, I carve shallow grooves along the handle and place the power wires into them. I'm using wires with a connector for a power supply, fixing them onto the handle. Then I connect the wires to the steel contacts and solder them for extra reliability. After that, I attach small wire terminals onto the contacts and secure everything with electrical tape. Not only does this add strength, but it also makes the tool look neat and professional. Now let's make the heating element. For this, I take a syringe needle. Using a file, I make a small notch on the needle. This reduces the cross section of the metal and creates a hot spot where it will heat up the most. Then I cut off a section of the needle and bend it into a U-shape. Why a syringe needle? Because it's made of medical grade stainless steel. That material is strong, durable, and heat resistant. Plus, stainless steel has higher electrical resistance, and as you know, the higher the resistance, the more heat it generates. We install the needle into the terminals, and our DIY wood burning tool is ready. I'm powering it with a 5 volts, 3 amperes power supply, but you can also run it from a rechargeable battery, which makes it portable and perfect for use anywhere. Let's test it out. The needle quickly heats up and allows you to burn neat lines, patterns, and lettering on wood. This simple device works just like a store-bought wood burner, but the best part is it's homemade, reliable, and even strong enough for professional use. Did you know that wood burning, also known as pyrography, is one of the oldest decoration techniques in history? People have been using fire to create designs on wood for hundreds of years. Now, with just a few materials, you can build your own tool and start practicing this timeless craft. Ways to improve this DIY design. Add a plastic or 3D printed housing for comfort. Install an on-off switch for convenience. Use an adjustable power supply for precise temperature control. Replace tape with heat-resistant clamps or brackets. So there you have it, a fully working DIY wood burning tool that's simple to build, safe to use, and reliable enough for professional applications. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see an advanced version with adjustable power or other DIY tools in future videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.